But it's insane to think that I would get in a room alone with any girl that wasn't my daughter or my mom or my grandma or my sister. What was my point to that young man? Same point I'm making to you. Young person, mark my words. Maybe you've already done it. Mark my words with your body that I'm talking about here. If you're dating and you get in a car alone or anywhere alone long enough with someone of the opposite sex, you are going to fall. You probably have already, but if you haven't, you're going to. Period. Period! The temple of the Holy Spirit. But he who unites himself with the Lord is one with him in spirit, flee from sexual immorality. I think the problem of most people is they do not flee. They do not exclude any situations to be able to sin. They are very, could a person call it arrogant and uncaring about excluding yourself from situations that can cause you to sin. I think they say intelligent people try to solve difficult problems. Geniuses avoid difficult problems. So, I think a person must exclude all opportunities in your life, make it your business, so that you will not be able to be even put in the position to sin. But it's insane to think that I would get in a room alone with any girl that wasn't my daughter or my mom or my grandma or my sister. What was my point to that young man? Same point I'm making to you. Young person, mark my words. Maybe you've already done it. Mark my words with your body that I'm talking about here. If you're dating and you get in a car alone or anywhere alone long enough with someone of the opposite sex, you are going to fall. You probably have already, but if you haven't, you're going to. Period. Period! I think many of the common practices like um, cuddling together in the same bed is ridiculous. Going up for a last coffee to the flat late at night when no one's there should not be done at all. Um, what else is there? Uh, late night movies under a duvet when no one else is there. I think a person must respect and honor purity. This kind of behavior dances on the cliff edge and actually flaunts arrogantly at purity and this this amazing gift God has given us. Um, I think I think these kinds of things are done by many people and um, is a kind of insult to the fo to the planning and forethought and extent a person must go to actually stay pure. People will obviously think this is extreme, but I tell you, if you want to be part of the 1% or the 0, 0, 0,01% or whatever of people that keep purity for marriage, you will have to do what the other 99,99% are not prepared to do. You will reap what you sow. If you are careful, if you honor the forethought and planning and hard work that it is that is needed to keep pure, you can be proud one day. And this is also a story of redemption for those who did wrong things in the past. Turn your life around. Stop living with men. Stop cuddling and getting into bed bed with men or men, I say, or girls or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or watching late night movies under duvets. Honor purity so that you might get the reward. There is only one time in all of Scripture we are told to run. You better hear me. Only one time. And you know what it is? It's run from environments or settings that cultivate or enhance or stir up these intense cravings. It never ceases. I met with a young man recently. He said, Pastor Judah, I just don't know how it happened. I, was, we saw, I sat, sat down with this girl about 1230 in her apartment, 1230 in the morning, and we start kissing, and we start doing some other stuff. And I, I've been praying, singing, Lord, asking the Lord, saying, Lord, how did that happen? I said, shut up. What do you mean, how did that happen? Don't super spiritualize this. 
It happened because you were there after midnight alone in her apartment, sitting on a couch, sharing a blanket. And you put yourself in a setting that enhanced, cultivated, and promoted the intense cravings we all got. What you should have done, young man, is get up and said, I gotta go. And you should have turned and you should have ran. It says run, but pursue. Don't run aimlessly. That's what so many of us do. We hear these messages on resistless cravings. Don't do it. Don't be about to stop it. Quit sleeping around. We've all been there. You got to pursue something. That's why purity is a pursuit of God. What are you pursuing? You got to pursue it.